back to you. All right, thanks, Kai. Well, we've talked a lot about it a couple times this morning, but a great Cedar Rapids holiday tradition is this weekend. That's the Fire and Ice Festival. And joining us this morning with more on everything happening downtown this weekend is Jill Wilkins with the Cedar Rapids Metro Economic Alliance. She's an event planner. And then Mark Abel from CenturyLink, one of the sponsors for the festival this weekend. So uh, good morning to both of you. And there's a lot to talk about with this festival, so let's get right to it. Uh, what are some of the big things happening in Green Square Park this weekend? Well, Green Square Park, there's going to be a lot of activities starting around 4 p.m. and then it'll go 6 p.m. right up in, into the, uh, right before the parade. Right. So we're going to call it uh, North Pole Park for the night. It's awesome. well, There's going to be uh, some carriage rides. There'll be the Holiday Express train that'll be giving rides to people. Uh, Santa Claus is right at the Museum of Art, so not too far away. Uh, and the tree lighting ceremony, which is always a big deal, is at 5.30 p.m. So uh, that's right there in Green Square Park. And, I know uh, the weather's going to be great this year, but if anybody gets cold, there will be a bonfire there in Greensport Park, and then CenturyLink will have a tent there handing out free hot chocolate if you do need to warm up. So. Perfect. Well, it'll, still, it'll be nice, but it'll still be chilly, so a cup of hot chocolate is never a bad thing, right? right? So. so, well, you mentioned Santa Claus is going to be here, but there are some other activities for the kiddos, too, so if you want to bring your family down, what can they do? Sure. So there's quite a few different options, all really located around Green Square Park, so it's really easy to just kind of hit everything that's happening. So, um, as Mark said, at 3.30, Santa will be at the Art Museum, also mm -hmm. with his reindeer, like he's had in the past, which are always fun. And then um, we have quite a bit going on at the Downtown Library, so there'll be face painters, balloon animals, and then also there's an appearance and sing-along, I've heard by uh, Queen Elsa and Princess Anna. Ooh, so, frozen. Uh, so yes, so um, I would encourage the kids to go over there. They're so popular, but there's gonna be an opportunity to meet them and sing a few songs and, and have some fun. So that's, I think that's gonna be a lot of fun, something different. We also have um, quite a few affiliated events this year with just partner organizations downtown. So um, if you go to our website, cedarapids.org uh, backslash fire and ice, it lists all those other ones. But Waypoint's going to have something, Junior League over by the world. So really located around that Green Square Park area. And we do have a news link up for that as well on our website, so you can check that out. Um, and I have to draw attention to this. If you haven't noticed, <laughs> Jill looks very styling this morning. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, this is actually on purpose, and <laughs> why, why are you wearing this? Thank you for noting this. Hey, you are very festive. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, turn. I'm actually, I'm, I'm test driving my outfit for the Ugly Sweater Party. Okay. Um, and that happens after the parade at Rock Bar and Grill. And we've had this for quite a few years now, and it's pretty popular. It's for 21 and over crowd. I think Mark still needs to get his toy. Yeah, where's yours? Yeah, I, I don't know. I, you I, should put some flash on that. Last year I was told to get one, and mm -hmm. I failed to do it. Okay, well, yeah. if, you can, if you come back next year, you must okay. wear that. Yep. Challenge. Is you guys can match next yeah. year. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Again, if you'd like to check out more information, we have a news link up to the website about the Fire and Ice Festival under the news link section of KCRG.com. Thanks for joining us this morning, and we'll be right back here on TV9.